I mean, Clarence, I understand that you, you are, when you're at home, you have video cameras everywhere because yes. you're yes, I've, just living I've, in constant fear. Yeah, I, I have uh, security cameras and inside, outside my home and buildings. So. I can attest to that. I mean, I'm pretty much the same way at home. You know, you, you have this sense of paranoia, you know, that, and you're always on guard, you know. I rarely sleep. I can go days without sleeping. I don't know why, you know. It's just all of us are going through something individually, you know, and um, you appreciate what you have now, but that it's always back there, you know, and what they took from you, you know, and it's when you think about your life, it's a lot, you know. Do the three of you feel a kindredship? Because obviously we can't relate. We can hear your stories, but we can't relate. Is, is there anything healing about being around Always. others. Whenever we're together, we never give up an opportunity or pass up an opportunity to meet and be together because we know there's that level of understanding amongst us. Yeah. And, you know, God bless our families and our friends, you know, but they could never really understand, you know, the depths of, you know, our emotional trauma. And, you know, just when I see these guys, I just automatically light up. I love hearing that. And there's a connection that I feel very personally amongst the three of you that I think forces everyone here in this room, everyone watching at home, to realize this could happen to me. This could happen to me. Obviously, we would all be better off right now if nothing like this ever happened, but it does. The wrongfully accused do get convicted, and when we come back, we're going to meet a woman who actually mistakenly identified the person who raped her. That's next.